everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the CWS Season 3 Episode 16. We are back. So, if you have missed the last episode of the classic wrestling series, it was uh, WCW Starcade 1995. Let me confirm that. It was 1995. Um, you will have the annotation at the end of the video here and there will also be an annotation here. I don't know why I'm using a pen. Yeah. But there'll be an annotation at the beginning of the video if you want to catch up with the last episode of the CWS. And it will be here up here as well at the end with the CinemaSlam review just there. So, we are going back in time to the In Your House universe because we are nearly done. We are done with, well, we've got seven, but one of them is not being done for obvious reasons and uh, it will never be done on the channel. So, we are going to be watching In Your House 8... The Wear of Dog. Now, due to the bug, this has not been done in the CWS series. I'm going to double check the YouTube channel and make sure that it hasn't been done. And if it has, then we'll have an annotation and this will be a rewatch to see if my opinions hold up. So, with that being said, we are going to get to our first matchup. I'm going to double check the YouTube channel and uh, I will see you after our first matchup. So, uh, just double check the channel. So, we haven't done the Wear of Dog. And we're going to be watching it. So, this is the only... I think this is the only one of the In Your House series to actually have two nights. So, let me explain. Um, the event took place in the North Charleston Coliseum in North Charleston, uh, South Carolina. Okay, why the fuck is it North, North Ca Charleston in South Carolina? Who knows, you know, Carolina. Um, but due to a severe thunderstorm, the power went out during the broadcast on May 26th, resulting in only the first two matches being aired on pay-per-view. So due to this result, the second night entitled Beware of Dog 2 was scheduled for the 28th. So, the pay-per-view is together on the actual night itself. It's actually combined the first two matches on the first night and then the rest of the card is on the second night of the other night. So, this is the only pay-per-view ever to be held in South Carolina as of um, the Wikipedia article being written. And it actually ends the... the actually ends and disbands the Million Dollar Corporation with Ted DiBiase leaving for WCW um, in the coming weeks. So, a bit of history there for you as well. So, let's not waste any more time. Obviously, we know what... Well, if you don't know why this call, uh, event is called Beware of Dog, Shawn Michaels and the British Bulldog are going at it for the WWF Championship. Yes, it is called the WWF Championship. However... Diana, uh, British Bulldog's wife, who did not like this storyline to begin with, accused Michaels of... This was a storyline back in 1995. Cut me some slack. Um, of talking to her while she was alone. Let's just say that. And uh, keep it PG for the channel. So, with all that being said, this is where all this happens and bloody fucking blah. So, that's where we've got this matchup. So, we have got Wildman Mark Miro versus Hunter Hearst Helmsley. Again, whoever the fuck... Hun who did Hunter Hearst Helmsley turn into? I don't know. Uh, taking up... Uh, going on... Going one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. So, let's get to the match. So, our first matchup was Mark Miro versus Hunter Hearst Helmsley. Again, he really needs to shorten that, man. This was entertaining. It was well done. It was a fun matchup. Um, Mark Merrill and Hunter always were able to put on good matches uh, when they, whenever they fought each other. So yeah, it was really fun. This was a really good matchup and it was entertaining. So our next uh, match is technically the main event of the show, of this particular show. It's Shawn Michaels versus British Bulldog. So again, due to the power outage, um, they basically just decided to scrap it and say all the matches bar Mark Merrill versus Hunter Hussamsley are dark matches and you know the best three matches are going to be picked for the uh the wear of dog 2 which was a superstars tv taping as well in case you didn't know so the matches were uh smoking guns versus the gold wins for the wwf tag team championships uh they won that bob holly defeated isaac yankum dds then on this cane uh no time for that 
Uh, Mount Neville versus Hunter S. Hemsley. Savio Vega and Stone Cold Steve Austin will get to uh, in the matchups uh, and the other match. Yokozuna versus Vader will get to again in the uh, next matchup. Uh, Golda uh, again will get will deal with that as well. Jake Roberts versus Justin Bradshaw with Uncle Zebediah was on the card. Our match is Sean versus Bulldog now. Ahmed Johnson versus Laura, Jerry Laura and the Ultimate Warrior versus Owen Hart. So yeah, these matches were um, okay to a point, probably. I mean, some of them were crap, but you never know. So we are going to get to uh, Shawn Michaels versus British Bulldog. The three matches for Beware of Dog 2, just to name you guys know, are Tavio Vader versus Stone Cold Steve Austin, Vader versus Yoko Zuna, and Goldust versus The Undertaker. So, to Sean and uh, Bulldog. <laughs> so, we've just had Shawn Michaels versus The British Bulldog. Very entertaining matchup. Double pin, though, and caused a lot of controversy, but again, Shawn Michaels would retain the WWF Championship on a draw. Again, fun matchup, very entertaining. And yeah, just when Sean and uh, when Sean and Bulldog were together, it was gold back in the day. And yeah, I'm very happy that this match actually got seen by the crowd. It was a really good option. So we are now jumping to Beware of Dog Two, and we have got Savio Vega versus Stone Cold Steve Austin. Let's get to that. So we just had Savio Vega versus Stone Cold Steve Austin for the Caribbean Strap Match, or in the Caribbean Strap Match. Bot standard Caribbean strap match, uh, or strap match in general. It was fun. You know, Salvio Vega and Austin can work really fucking well together. A lot of people do, um, so I'm going, instead of the clip of um, doing Beware of Dog, I'm going to actually leave the annotation for my No Way Out of Texas review because a lot of people think that is Salvio being in the match is stupid. It's not actually if you look into the history of Austin and Salvio Vega. But it's one of them things. So we've now got Yokozuna versus Vader. Why do I have the feeling this is going to be bad? But let's find out. So we just had Yokozuna versus Vader. This this wasn't too bad. I will say that. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't good. It was entertaining. Vader did get the win with the Vader Bomb and wins the match. It wasn't all that. I will say that. But now we have got uh, a promo for King of the Ring coming up, which is going to be a fun one. And we've now got our main event coming up as well, which is going to be, well, our main event of the second night, which is Goldust versus The Undertaker in a cast if match for the Intercontinental Championship. So, let's see this. So we just had The Undertaker versus Goldust in the cast if match. I kind of like the idea that Goldust... Goldust was going for the pin instead of throwing him into the uh, casket. Kind of a bit being like, well, he doesn't know the rules, slash, you know, he's just trying to get the win. Makes sense. But this would lead into the Undertaker versus Mankind feud. So Mankind did get involved, cost Undertaker the IC title, and Goldust throws the Undertaker into the casket for the win. So, what did I think of Beware of Dog? This was a fun show. Like, it was entertaining for what they had. They put on another show a few days later. And, yeah, it was really, it was entertaining. I thought it was fun. So, next week, we are going to be jumping over to... Well, we're going to be having an international instant, I think. That's the name of the show we're watching. Yeah, I know it's bad. But anyway, so I will see you guys next week. I hope you have a lovely week. And TTFN. Ta-ta for now.